named Ivan Mitrich Aksyonov. Aksyonov was a handsome, fair-haired, curly-headed fellow, full of fun and very fond of singing. He is quite infamous among fellow merchants for his communication skill and his connection through the nation. Hey there, Aksyonov. How's the business going? Hey the business has been as usual, man. Nothing special happened. Yeah. You're lucky man, if you're not precious mm -hmm. in your own house. Not everyone has that kind of fortune. Yes, I'm a very <laughs> lucky man indeed. indeed. But that's not just about luck, you know. It's also about the mindset, the right mindset, and the hard work. Nice, you're right. <laughs> Actually, we're always going to challenge this fellow. I can always remember the time when we used to sing together at the club. Yeah, those four days indeed. Yeah, four days indeed. But can't do that anymore. Yeah, you know? have a wife at home, a woman, you know. Well, what's it was a good thing. Gives to your class at Asiana. Oh, May thanks. your may your shop flourish and your. <laughs> may your shops. Flourish and your house beautiful and happy. Oh, okay, sure, thank you guys. I'll see you around. You too. One summer, Aksyonov was going to the Nizhny Fair, and as he said goodbye to his family, doing business on his own, a remarkable businessman and a loving father. <laughs> Could you not leave today? I I had a bad dream about you last night. A dream? Like you say you dreaming? Like I get lost on the wood or something? Like and get eaten by the wall? Like what happened that's, on your dream? That's not funny, Ivan. Really, that's not funny. In my dream, I saw that you came back from the fair, and when you took off your hair, I saw that your hair it was all gray. A gray hair? Like my hair is gray. Uh, so must be I, I will be as wise as here then. Yeah. yeah but I can't shake this feeling. Could you just hear me? Can you just postpone your trip for a day just to be safe? Well, you know, the next vision is our where we make money. You know, I can't postpone it. Okay, but promise me you'll be careful, okay? I, I really can't get rid of this feeling in my heart. Yeah, I'll be careful and maybe I'll bring back a gift for you from my travel, alright? Okay. See you. Collects his things and goes out the door, leaving his wife standing with a worried expression. The kitchen fills some tears without him. The air tanks with unspoken worry as his wife turns away from the window, silently praying for his safe return. Okay, goodbye, honey. I'll be back soon. Then, Aksyonov meets a merchant on the road. Tishu, 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 tishu. Hey, hi, Aksyonov. It's been a while. It's been a while, and it's been a while. Let's go. Let's go drink some tea. They share a brief conversation, then decide to stay at the same inn for the night. And they have tea together and retire to adjoining rooms. It was not my habit to sleep this late. But I, I can't shake this feeling of, of, of dread. I think I must go now. Hey, driver, wake up. We need to go now. Yes, sir. Put the horse now. Yes, I, I, I must. I must go now. Right. This is the payment. Oh, All right. Self travel to user. I, I, I need to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's on me. 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 That's on me.
It's a tale of a, a war and injustice. Uh, what news you bring? False uh, accused sentence and exile to Siberia. Exile? Yes. But, but you are innocent. I know. I am, my love. But the will of justice has turned us again against me. When he had gone about 25 miles, he stopped for the horses to be fed. Aksyonov decided to stay in an inn, calling it a day of his journey. He took his guitar out and started singing, humming to the joy of a spider web that has been nurtured right above his feet. Colonies in colonies in a wooden roof while sitting in a saloon room. <sighs> Finally, a moment of rest. Oh. Hello, sir. Uh, good day to you, sir. Yeah. Like uh, how can I assist you? Yeah, good day. By the way, how are you and where did you come from? Uh, I'm just a simple merchant named Akshonov from uh, Vladimir village. Not far from here now. So, where did you spend last night? Were you alone or with a fellow merchant? I was uh, in the inn, not very far from here. Alone though, I'm alone. Yes. You there? Come close. Yes, you. Can I help you, sir? Did you see the other merchant this morning? Yes, yes, I yeah. do. The one with the, the scars on his cheek. Yeah, I, I, I saw him in the morning, but that's about it. Why did you leave the inn now? Uh, because I have uh, an urgent meeting to attend. I, ca I can't wait until the sun to come. Oh yeah. And why do you, you do you guys cross question me like I'm a thief or a robber or something? Like, wait, what's your tone? We are doing our job here. I'm just asking. You know, like it's and that's what every. <coughs> Travelers come here to say. So, what's your tone, you peasant? And luckily enough, you are the last person who who seen that merchant this morning. Yeah. Then do your job properly. Uh, you can't just preach anyone without proof. I'm just a simple merchant from Czech Republic. A tragedy has happened. The coincidence of incident and action of prison sparks a question. Was it him, a not the truth, yet dreadful to his guidance? Hey, then. So, yeah, you found that? I mean, yeah. police start here. I guess. And then, yeah, I need to ask you something. Let's go ahead. You I'm are sure. with the fellow mention last night, right? Yes, yes I do. So he has been found that with his throat cut. So I need to ask you something throughout your belongings. I yeah, sure, go ahead, check my belongings. I'm not the killer. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> so what is this? I, I never seen that knife in my entire life. That's not mine. A likely story. So how do we know you wouldn't use it to harm the merchant? Why? No, it's such heinous. Ah, that's such heinous. So what is this? I never seen that knife in my entire life. I never seen it. Yeah, a likely story. So how do we know you won't use it to find the merchant? 
Yes. Such a criminal act never crossed in my mind. So I'm just a simple merchant. And what about this knife? I don't know. It's not mine. Well, yeah. Someone must know about something. A man doesn't just end up putting his armwork or heart tool inside his bag. Uh, perhaps someone. Okay. Perhaps someone else before me and put the knife on my bag or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's a possibility. But until we figure out the who who the real one, you must follow us. <laughs> Axionov lies down. He discovered himself in a big question time. His mind's running wild in the fever of dreams. So many ready thoughts come in and out. A nightmare, an eternal wisdom here has filled his mind. Corruption. The Lord, on this knife. This is not even my knife. Baru masuk mereka harus tahu. Oh, cut the egg. A man's been murdered, and here you are caught red-handed. Explain yourself. I'm as sure as you are, officer. That's that is that's not my knife. Explain clearly. I cannot hear your voice. Yes, we share the same room together. You're stuttering. I mean, obviously, like. The, the proof is here and... Uh, uh. You're out of the woods. Yeah. Hey, man. The room was locked from inside. No one's there inside this excite, uh, besides you and him. So, how do you explain that? Uh, uh, I remember I saw someone, a uh, shadowy figure, before me. Spare me your tail! Shadows! There's no wheel knife! This man is phantom did this! Come on, clearly explain yourself, you murder. Please, you have to believe me. Like, I'm not a murderer, I'm just a simple merchant. Alright then, if what you say is true, then prove it. Until then, you're the prime suspect. And don't reason, you filthy murderer. My innocent when the truth is so elusive as the ghost. I don't even know. And I said, John, the Narato. The Narato. Axionov swore he had done it. He had not done it. That he had not seen the merchant after they had tea together. That he had no money except 8,000 rubles of his own and that the knife was not his. He tried, and disappointment met his face. Okay. I swear that I didn't do it. It's not me. That's not my knife. That's not even my knife. Yes! Your words mean nothing in the face of evidence against you. Officers, burn this man and put him in the car. Repeat, come up. As they tied his face together and flung him into the cart, Aksyonov crossed himself and wept. His money and goods were taken from him, and he was sent to the nearest town and imprisoned there. In curious as to his character were made in the The merchants and other inhabitants of this town said that in former days, he used to drink and waste his time, so but that was a good man. Then the trial came on. He was charged with murdering a merchant from Merzai and robbing him of 20,000 rubles. Please help me. I, I'm so scared. I, I don't know what to do right now. Please grant me strength to to find a way from this. I'm innocent, Lord, uh, yet I'm condemned by this sin. Yeah.
investigation about a man named Ifan with which Akshana. He is on trial on murder and robbery. Uh, Ivan Dmitry Aksonov. I I remember him. He used to live here in Vladimir. He had a bit of reputation for drinking and wasting time, but he was never a bad person. Quite a positive fact. That's the man he's now accused of murdering a person from prison and stealing twenty thousand rubles. What, Ivan? That's that's hard to believe. He was a good man, uh, uh, but I suppose people can change. Alright, thank you for catching so much for the information. Excuse us. You are accused of murdering a merchant from Yazan and stealing 20,000 rubles. What's your response to these allegations? Sir, please, you have to believe me. I'm, I'm innocent. I, I am a simple merchant. I never taken life. Or nor stolen anything, it's not me. Please, sir. This house was a novel. How you can explain it? I, I don't know about the evidence, but I'm telling the truth here. Like, I'm telling the truth. There's no lies on my word. Based on the evidence before us, we find Xion of guilty as charged. God knows the truth. Yeah, the truth will. The truth will. God knows the truth. Uh, and with his time, he will reveal it. Yeah. Are you still? Yeah. Yeah. His wife was in despair and did not know what to believe. Her children were all quite small. One was a baby at her breast. Taking the mall with her, she went to the town where her husband was in jail. At first, she was not allowed to see him. But after much begging, she obtained permission from the officials and was taken to him. When she saw her husband in prison dress and in chains, shut up with thieves and criminals, she fell down and did not come to her senses for a long time. Can I see my husband? I beg you, I don't know what to do anymore. Look at my small child. I'll ask the other child. A hope sparks its ray to Aksionov. He finally believed in his justice. With his wife to support, he urged to seek for a truth that shall prevail. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's on me. 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 Tell me of your journey. What news do you bring from far? <laughs> it's a tale of a, a war and injustice. Uh, what news you bring? False uh, accused sentence and exile to Siberia. Exile? Yes. But, exile? but you are innocent. I know. I am, my love. But the will of justice has turned us again, against me. And here I am, a, a branded criminal. <laughs> My heart breaks for you, Ivan. But what shall we do now? How can we fight against such cruelty? Please, do not lose hope. Uh, we, we must appeal to Caesar himself and plead for mercy and, and a justice. Then let us compose a position at once. 
We shall not rest until your name is clear and your innocent proclaimed to all. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Your animal will bear support. Uh, give me strength in this darkness. Yeah. No matter what you got me, I got you. I, oh, I always got your back. And I wouldn't want it any other way. And, you know, I'd never drop any dubs on you. It may be yesterday, but I didn't mean that. I know. I know that's what, that's what I mean. Uh, we'll make it through, just like usual, all right? We make it through. Like we always say, you know, Abyss. Tiga. All right, Tadi Zabam, please leave this room immediately. Come on, come on. No. Please. No. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. Tiga. All right. I'm done. Please, if it's for me, wait a minute. No. no. I'm sorry. What do you have to go now? I'm okay, dear. I'm so sorry. My, my last message. I'm so sorry. Take care of them. Take care please of take my care child. Of please. 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 Time passed by. It's been too long for his innocence to what his belief it was. So old that he is now filled with wisdom. Not a single fire to fight for his justice parts. It could be a last one spark in his heart. His family. Uh, buddy, what the news you have today? I have to sound his ability to invade the text again. Oh, I hear it. Our Zahra has was his mind goes to where the ends meet the beginning. I can't find my hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I care for this like hair. Uh, it has less mystery. It's coming. Pick up your eyes and continue. Old man, can you take care of your statement? Are you sure? Yes. You're older. You're not much younger either. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. I hear it. Our son has lost it. His mind goes to where the ends meet the beginning. I care for his, for his white hair. Uh, it has lost his gripping. He's coming. Pick up your ass and continue. Oh, man. Are you, are, you, are you sure? Yes, of course. Yes. You're so rich here. Thanks, young lady. We will go. Yeah. We continue the race. We are away. In prison, Aksyonov learned to make boots and earned a little money, with which he bought the lives of the saints. He read this book when there was light enough in the prison. And on Sundays, in the prison church, he read the lessons and sang in the choir. For his voice was still good. They were What is part of that? Every stitch, every thread, it's the word redemption. Redemption? You're a fool, Sion. What good is redemption in this hellhole? I paid my sin. But there's more to life than this stone wall. I have learned to make boots and earn a little money to buy books. Fadila, Fadila. Sudah, nak balik tak apa-apa. Sudah kan bagian sini ya? Tak apa-apa. Dah, tepi ya. Baik. 
Dah hati hati. Said won't save you here. You think letting holy tales will wash away your guilt? It's my lifeline. The story they whisper hope I read when there's light in the sky. My brother Nicola, he was innocent. I am framed him blind by AV. His eye on me in the, even in the darkness. You think. Yeah, it's like a father figure in here. They even call him the Red It's because of their weakness, I guess. The prison, the prison authorities just seem like him too. Yeah, definitely. Whenever uh, things happen, they always call Axelon to speak in our behalf. I heard he hasn't received any news from his family. Poor guy doesn't even know if they are still alive. Good stuff, but he handled handle it all with such a grace. We can learn a thing or two from him. Agreed. If only we could ask Compass as such a lot in such a yeah. yeah. One day, a fresh gang of convicts came to the prison. In the evening, the old prisoners collected from the new ones and asked them what towns or villages they came from and what they were sentenced for. Among the rest, Axinov sat down near the newcomers and listened with downcast air with what, with what was said. <laughs> Silence! Get in there! Faster! <laughs> yeah, in that room. So, where do you come from? What's your story? I'm from a little village up north. Get caught in the brown and end up here. I'm from the sea. Where is that? What in major? About you, friend. Where do you hail from? What is it to you, old man? It's probably here for the murder. Just like the rest of us. 